Hey guys, and welcome back to Pokemon X. The post-game shenanigans for today include a visit to the Battle Maison. Essentially the Battle Tower of X and Y. You can enjoy many a repetitive battle here, and uh, as such we'll be taking on four specific challenges. The Single Battle, the Double Battle, the Triple Battle, and the Rotation Battle. Defeating 19 trainers in a row will make the leader of each respective challenge pop their heads out for a battle. This is what we'll be aiming for today, the total and utter destruction of their egos. I can just imagine that, you know, they pop their heads and, Oi, what's this then? <laughs> we got some young upstart there, eh, mate? It's funny you say that. Wait until you actually see how they speak. It's cockney as shit. Oh, no, don't tell me. Oh. <laughs> Have you actually, like, been watching ahead? Because that's super close. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this at all, all of a sudden. Post-game-wise, uh, did you ever take on anything like this, like uh, the Battle Tower in Gens 2, 3, and 4, or the Battle Subway in 5? Um, you know what? You you mentioned the Battle Tower, or Battle whatever, in 2, and I just want to point out that they did not have anything like that in Gold and Silver. It was only introduced in Crystal, and since I play Silver, there was no opportunity for me to do so in that game. Um... As for uh, Ruby and Sapphire, I sort of technically never beat the game, so I can't really <laughs> say anything about that either. Casual fucking confirmed. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty high up there, you know. It's a good thing they're making uh, these uh, Hoenn remakes for guys of my skill. Now this is just basically going to be a little bit of a warm-up to get us uh, acquired for the taste of battling in the battle maze. I'm, I'm going to like basically cut out all of the battles except for the leaders from here on out. Because uh, do you know how uh, this kind of thing works, Hell Dragon? Um, it takes forever, and that wouldn't be a very good playthrough episode if you put it all in there. It would probably take us about ooh, five hours or so. Oh my God! I mean, you can save between fights. I mean, you don't have to do it all in one streak, but I mean, come on, you guys don't need to see that, so. Yeah, you uh, have to do 19 matches in a row, and then on the 20th, the uh, leader, whose actual name is like Chatelone or something, I have it here in my notes, Chateline. we're just going to call them leaders. Um, but yeah, it's uh, long, it's tedious, and besides this battle, you're only going to see the main ones. Yeah, uh, they keep throwing around a lot of words in this mode that I don't know, admittedly. I have to admit, I don't know what a Maison is. I'm gonna assume it's like a mansion, because they had a battle tower and it took place in a tower, so I'm gonna assume Maison means super fancy house that you'll never be able to buy. I'm looking it up in the Oxford Dictionary. Go, Internet Man, you know. I wonder how people learn things before the Internet was invented. Maison Bourgeois, imposing townhouse. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty scared to be in here, man. <laughs> Maison Derrette, prison. Oh, you get bip in this game too, just like in uh, Super Street Fighter. <laughs> Chatelaine. Huh. Alright, let's see who it is. Watcha, I'm Nia, the youngest of the Chatelaine sisters. Allow me to come down the apples and pears and I'll show you a real Pokemon battle. God. God, I hate you so. It's amazing how much the hate has grown. <laughs> it's like recording with fucking Dick Van Dyke or something, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm tempted to do a voiceover here, but I'm really not a fan of uh, LPs who do that, so I shall abstain this time. Here's some other stuff we do instead to piss you off. Notice how they use the Elite Four theme. Uh, it's supposed to indicate that it is uh, on now, but um, I have been gifted, loaned if you will, a few Pokemon from uh, HFC members like Volcamar and Mexican Base Monkey, so this should be as smooth as butter, baby. Man, I remember though when you were taking this on, and you were you were complaining so much <laughs> on Twitter. I mean, it's I laugh at it. I would have done the same too, but still, you were so pissed off. It was great. Okay, I think this requires just a, a wee bit of context, a smidgen, if you will. Imagine spending about an hour or so and getting to one Pokemon, one Pokemon, maybe three matches away from the Chatelaine fire, and being walled. The Pokemon in particular was a Frogadier with protein, and it just destroyed me. I couldn't do anything. Even Greninja was like a shit man, died it back a notch. <laughs> Frogadier, we're very disappointed by your performance, man. You don't seem to know the Pokemon battling spirit. 
But uh, now that I've got Mega Lucario uh, going, n nothing is going to be able to stand against it, honestly. I just wanted to add something about Perugly. I was looking him up, and apparently what it does is that it jumps into the nest of other Pokemon and scares them off so Perugly can get them for his own. Perugly is such a huge dick! Holy shit! Ugly on the outside, Perugly on the inside. Man, that is Perugly in a nutshell, alright. Don't forget that Wigglytuff is now normal and fairy type. It looked like part rabbit type with those ears, but what do I know? Hey, I'm Grumpig, etc. Now, I don't think we mentioned this before about uh, Grumpig and uh, Spoink, but they might be based on the biblical verse, Cast not ye pearls before swine. Oh. Yeah, it's an intelligent thing, isn't it? I didn't expect this commentary to get all religious and whatnot. My inner editor is screaming whenever these guys come on screen and talk, because you're not supposed to do this. You're not supposed to write a super thick accent for these characters. You're supposed to hint at it. Otherwise, it looks completely amateurish. Isn't that purple prose? Yeah, yeah, something like that. It just looks terrible. And okay, yeah, yeah, kids game, Pokemon X and Y, what are you doing? But still, my inner editor, I can't shut it off. I'm sorry. Yes, more burp. There's, like, a shop at the uh, front of the Battle Mason. You can trade in uh, your BP for items, right? Items you can't get normally anywhere else, I assume. Uh, let's just have a look at this old Bulbapedia page. Uh, I'm seeing protein, calcium, I'm seeing power belts, power anklets, choice bands. You remember that, Hell Dragon? Yes, yes. We all remember the choice <laughs> van. Let's move on. Yeah, or was it focus band? In any case, the single battles have ended now. Super single battles have you going through 49 battles in a row before you can take on the Shatterlene again. And you know what's the best part about that, Hell Dragon? What? They use legendary Pokemon. Ah, oh, good, because that's a good way to balance things out. Oh, well, he got through 49 battles. Bring out the fucking Ho-Ho's, man. I think it was Gandhi who said, fuck that noise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right before he nuked another country. <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, you're doing the double battles next, and it seems here that you have to select who goes in first. And you actually have to narrow your team down for the later battles that follow, am I correct? Mm-hmm. Uh, the first two you select will be the ones that get sent out on the field. So, uh, I will go with, like, a really strong Mon, and then one that can support it. Just never send that plus on mine on. You're wasting your time and mine. Yeah, yeah, you sort of just waste everyone's time with that whole you know, cuteness that you've got going on. You know, if they get mega forms in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, I'm uh, gonna be, if not pissed, a, li a little bit perturbed, maybe. The only thing that will make that good is if they end up fusing into Mega Plus Mine in 4. <laughs> Here's the one that gets most of the fan art, because she's super shy. Oh my god, it's so cute! It's got a hell of a stutter, too. It's like the King's Speech all over again. Smart joke, smart joke, smart joke. Yeah, we watch movies. What of it? <laughs> I know of movies. That's how I can make these great references. You were the one holding it up. <laughs> oh, how do I hold this Pokeball? What's going on? Hmm, Primate and Luminion. Strange combo. Luminion! Trouble in the water, lies and betrayal, the moon card which suggests fear of the unknown! Yes, yes, JoJo references. Uh, you're about to evolve your Garchomp into Mega De Garchomp here, and you know, it's not fair for the trainer to ask this of Garchomp, because look, he gave up his hands in order to win the battle. That's just mean. That's just like when Goku takes off his weighted armor and becomes more powerful. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, Garchomp, I really need you to win this, but you know, you're gonna have to give up your thumbs. Is that okay with you? Well, I was eating too much ice cream anyway. Yeah, I'm looking up Lumion here. It says it competes with Lantern for food. That should be an interesting feat of biology right then and there. Well, you know, Lantern is part electric type, so that's going to be a very short battle. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Now that you bring that up, Lantern is pretty much going to get the lion's share of the food. 
Name the same, but not the same. Ursula is one of Volcomar's Pokémon. Same for our Mega Garchomp over there. So, uh, what's different about this particular uh, Ursula? How did he build his? Um, well, he, uh... Eevee and Ivy trained it. <laughs> That's one of the things you're going to want to become adept in if you uh, take on the Battle Maze on, because my scrubby, casualized Pokémon could never see a Chatelaine battle. You say that, and I'm not, I'm not really sure how to feel about that. Like, you can't just automatically go like, oh, well, you don't Eevee and Ivy train your Pokémon. You automatically suck at this game. I sat there, and I'm like, you know what it entailed the last time before all this, right? It was like fucking spreadsheet accounting homework. Fuck that noise. I'm just here to play the game, man. Done like dinner. Now she's gonna trip and fall. Oh no! Watch out, Bella Swan! I still hate that, though. Like, you know, when they're doing their talk, they're like, Oh, well, I took it easy on you. I mean, come on. You lost. Fair and square. Admit it. Don't back up. Just man it up. Super jarring as well. They have, like, the longest uh, post-battle text of any trainer in the game. Yeah, oh, that's so weird. I wonder why they got so much fucking stuff to say. <laughs> like, Game Freak was like, oh, it's the post-game. They've sat through, like, 19 battles. They could sit through a bit more. I'm never going to show these battles off, you know, outside of this uh, Let's Play, but whatever. Oh, oh, did you just call it a Let's Play? Ah! Uh... Uh, you know what? I don't give a shit anymore, okay? Play through Let's Play, it doesn't matter. Play the game and talk over it for the man and dollars. <laughs> just rolls off the tongue. I don't think I mentioned uh, what Nia uses for the super single battle, so I will do now. She uses the uh, Jin trio from uh, Gen 5, that being Tornadus, Fundorus, and Landorus, and uh, Evelyn uses Raikou, Entei, Suicun, and Latios. Oh, well, that's fair, don't you think? Go, um, Torchic. Go Entei? <laughs> <laughs> Although, to be fair, if you bring a Torchic to the Battle Maze on, you're pretty much just asked, asking for something like that. Now, now, uh, you bring that up, actually. This is actually something else I want to address. Uh, isn't it true, and I don't know if it's true for this. I think it's true for when you're battling on Wi-Fi. Um, don't Pokemon at certain levels get raised up to a certain minimal level in the Battle Maze on? Uh, no, actually. Pokemon above level 50, like, for example, the TV used to take on the Elite Four, will uh, get leveled down to 50, you know, to make things fair. But if you come in with Pokemon under level 50, like, say, at level 30 or so, they'll stay at level 30. So you're going to want to be careful not to start off on the wrong foot at a disadvantage, if you will. What's your experience with triple battles, mate? Uh, that premiered in Gen 5, just for reference. Uh, well, I don't know much about triple battles, but I know a lot about triple cheeseburgers and that I shall never have one again. Well, I can just assure you, they're not the same thing. Okay, good. Because, you know, I'm not all for eating Pokemon. I mean, normally I like hamburgers, but I really think Pokemon are our friends, and we really shouldn't subject them to such cruel things, you know what I'm saying? Also, I'm not sure how to feel about this particular leader, because she's named Dana, and that's my sister's name, so the Dana I know isn't very good at Pokemon. <laughs> well, looks like we're in with a shot. Oh, she's using a Dragolich that uh, Drasna used in the Elite Four. Mm-hmm, Poison and Dragon. I uh, take a look at this Whimsicott here really fast, uh... Because I still don't know what the fuck it's supposed to be. It just looks like a puff with legs, pretty much. Uh. It says it's a notorious prankster. Moving things and leaving cotton balls behind. Because that's super paranoid. You know, you move into a place, it's nice, you get your clothes in there, and suddenly you find fucking cotton everywhere. You think it's something else, but no, it's Whimsicott over there being a huge dick. Thanks, Maxi. Really appreciate having to use a Pokemon called Big Mama. <laughs> Look, as long as it's not Tyler Perry's Big Mama, alright? Alright, don't get me started, okay? Mega Kangaskhan is banned in competitive play, I believe, because it is so OP, thanks to its special ability, which uh, I will look up now. Give me a sec. Load faster, damn you. Load faster. Oh, great. I gotta talk to cover him. Um... I think Magneton is okay, but it's not as great as Magnazone, our lord and savior. 
Okay, uh, Parental Bond. Parent and child attack together. Parental Bond causes most damaging moves used by the Pokemon to become two strike moves, with the second attack being half as strong as the first. It does not affect multi-strike moves. Moves that hit multiple targets such as Earthquake and Rock Slide will not hit twice in double, triple, or horde battles, but moves like Hyper Beam will. Ooh, twice the Hyper Beam. Now, now, even though you said that the second attack is going to be only as half as powerful as the first one, you're using Power Up Punch, which gives Kangaskhan an attack boost every time they use it. So give him enough time, which isn't that long, and you can make him a fucking death machine. Mm -hmm. Well, technically she. I think Kangaskhans are always female. Okay, well maybe that Kangaskhan adopted, you know? Have we considered that possibility lately? That's true. We shouldn't judge. We're not Nintendo. You'll notice the uh, frame rate is trying to catch up. We apologize. This is the 3DS's limitations here. It's like, no wonder there's rumors of uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire not having 3D on the overworld. It would probably shit itself and die when Groudon comes st stomping in. That's true, but I mean, let's be honest, has anyone really bothered to use the 3D on the 3DS? I mean, I certainly don't, and if I was playing Pokemon, I still wouldn't really be using it there. Don't let Digi hear you say that, because he is a big fan of uh, Glasses Free 3D, and uh, he will probably destroy you. Really? I am in the most powerful member of Hellfire Comms, I'm sorry. My power level is max. Big Mama, that's <laughs> just... Honestly, Maxi, honestly. Now I'm looking up, um... I was looking at Macargo back there, and it turns out its internal body temperature can reach over 18,000 degrees Fahrenheit, which evaporates water on contact. You'd think its shell would burst into flames at that level, but apparently not. I guess it's made of lava rock at that point. I'm sure I've seen, um, a picture, like a screen grab of the anime, where there's a uh, Macargo and its trainer is hugging it. <laughs> I guess it can do like that thing that Ponita does. It can choose to not let its heat hurt him. I don't really know how you do that with fire, but whatever. Now we all know that Giraffe Rig's uh, tail has a mind of its own, so I'm gonna assume it's its most worthy opponent when it comes to political debates. This Gengar here? Actually mine! That's right, I uh, decide to actually chip in. Aren't I swell? Well, I can debate about the whole swellness thing, but at least you're doing the work, and that's what's important. No, not Big Mama! <laughs> Tyler Perry, no! Take that, fat pig. I think that's a pig. It should be a pig. It looks very lonely over there. It's about to join its friends, though. Uh, we're basically jumping someone right now. This is a three-on-one <laughs> battle. <laughs> Whimsicott's walking through a dark alley, and then the trainer lets out his three Pokemon. They beat him up for his lunch money. Well, Whimsicott does all he can, man, but he's alone at night. I mean, come on. Is, this, is that, like, the only move you have? We're not all weak to fairy type moves, you know. He is weak to dying, though. That seems to be super effective. Ala ala, etc. There's gonna be so much blood on the floor. She's not happy about it. Look at all this blood. Hey, what? Why is she panting? She didn't do anything physical. Well, triple battles are quite tedious and go on for a long time. She probably needs a bite to eat. Her blood sugar's dropping and whatnot. What is she, a pirate? <laughs> Fucking stop talking like that. <laughs> Away you go, yar. What happens if you lose? Walk the plank back to ye Pokemon Center and come ye up and try again. Archie would love her. I would, I would hate her probably. I hate her right now, actually. I'm getting there. Archie was the team Aqua leader, right? Eh? Yes, he was. No, no, wait, no. Maxi was Team Magma. Okay, see, we have to catch up on this because you know Alpha Sapphire and them's coming out. Yep, Archie, leader of Team Aqua. The guy who wanted to flood the world. Didn't really think that plan through. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good platform to uh, throw your support behind. Yeah, well, this guy wants to make a bunch of land, but this guy wants to flood the entire world, and I've been feeling very angsty lately, so I can get behind that. Okay, let's see what super triple battles entail. 
Oh, oh boy. Uh, she uses uh, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, and the three Regis. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That seems balanced and fair. I, I just don't get the point of giving these leaders legendaries when you could just rejig their team. It's just like giving them a massive like base stat boost seems a tad unfair. And it's funny that they, I was looking this up and they actually banned some legendaries from being usable in the Battle Mason. Except, of course, you know, the legendaries that the leaders use themselves because their teams suck. So, okay, that's fair. Now, uh, what do you know about rotation battle, mate? Um, well, each Pokemon works a shift, and after 12 hours, another Pokemon comes in and takes over for him while that first Pokemon takes a rest. Ugh. <sighs> <laughs> Exhale of frustration, but seriously. Um, I do know it's like, they're laid out like a triangle, and you have to rotate each one into place. I saw a bit of that, I was like, this is confusing, I probably wouldn't be able to get much of a handle on it. It's probably my least favorite battle type of uh, any in Pokemon, really. I'm, I'm sorry, uh, come on scream again. Yes, okay, how the fuck does my hair work? <laughs> it's like a spiral. And not that cool kind of Gura Lagan kind of spiral. I mean, I know green and spirals are like the best anime things to put together, but come on, just look at this. Okay, cool, pleasant Triz. You're not much of a second class trainer either, hmm. Alright, last battle, let's do this. <laughs> Seriously, look at that thing! Put some technology in the middle of that, that could be a fucking gun at this rate. Oh no, swallow it again? We just got done with you! Okay, this one might take a bit, because you kind of have to play mind games when it comes to rotation battles, uh, especially with uh, opposing teams that kind of um, work to combat other Pokemon's weaknesses. Like, uh, take Mantine for example, water and flying. Uh, I was tempted to go with Earthquake, but uh, I instead opted to use um, Stone Edge here, because if they switched out to Mantine, I would at least be able to hit it. Now, she's got a Sawsbuck in her team, and this Pokemon actually changes appearance based on the seasons. Uh, judging by its model right now, since uh, you were recording this uh, in the summertime, obviously, it's got the less amount of shit on it, and honestly, I prefer streamlined deer as opposed to some of the gaudy deer they have out later in the season. Okay, well, first of all, I believe that's a spring saw book. Second of all, seasons in the Pokemon world don't really work or last as long as they would IRL, mate. Okay, okay. Because I was fixing to say... Oh, oh, there goes that frame rate again. <laughs> it's not looking great. Jesus, Game Freak, optimize your shit. Come on, man. How fucking dare you, right? Create over 300, and I'm, I'm slipping into Chatelaine accent here. <laughs> How dare you create 600 3D models, right? A fully 3D world, and all this shit, and not optimize your game. I won't have it. I have no choice but to buy the Hoenn remakes and be very angry about it. I'm sorry. That's the best I can do. My special ability is to create straw man arguments. <laughs> I, I hesitate to learn what the name of your stand is, and I think I'll pass on that for now. It's a Mad Hatter, actually. Oh, really? I thought that had a different ability. No, it allows me to refill tea in the, anyone else's tea in the surrounding area instantly. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I really see that getting a lot of use, you know, Tom? You're a patronizing ass, you know, though. Yeah, probably, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Slawlot continues to amaze by doing nothing we haven't already seen before. Like, Greninja's there in the back. Just let me battle, coach. I'm ready. Yeah, they're all ready and primed. They're like, come on, man. I just want to get up front. Don't let fucking Garchomp take care of everything. He's in every fucking team. Come on. Like Morgan shouts across the arena. Are you actually going to do any rotating in this rotation battle? Ah, uh, no. I think I'm going to stick with this one. <laughs> That's all right with you. This situation is uh, pretty comfy for me, thanks. Although, you know, now I'm starting to think, like, obviously rotation battles are a, uh, you know, different version of the triple battle. I'm trying to see what else you can do with a triple battle to really change it up. Give them guns, maybe? <laughs> the firing squad battle makes sense. No, that's not gonna do it, Swallow. Now, uh, I've been looking at Mantine here, and apparently it likes to have some sort of uh, you know, like, lampreys, right? Uh-huh. 
and how they attach to like uh you know manta rays and sharks right basically mantine has that relationship with remoraid now last time i checked i haven't seen a remoraid in a while but i'm pretty sure it doesn't have a sucker on the top of its head for doing exactly this thing right so i don't know i guess he's paying him on the side it must be hard being a remoraid you know so you got to take whatever money you can get in this harsh world big mama big mama stop See, that's what happens when you leave it on for too long. You scald yourself. Interesting move, scald. A water-type move that has a chance of burning the opposing Pokémon. Yeah, I thought it was dual-type for a minute there before you classify. I think that move will be really interesting on the dual fire and water legendary that'll be coming out. Unless he's already available. Now I don't have to worry about any uh, flying type Pokemon. I can use Earthquake to my heart's content, and uh, seeing a Swallow over there is a Poison type, he's gonna go down lickety split. That's good, because really, he needs to stop getting work. I'm sorry, he contributes nothing to the Pokemon battling uh, industry, I feel. Okay, Sawsbuck, I'll give you that. You took down Big Mama. Here comes the Bigger Mama. Yeah, I forgot she has a Klefki, and we've already, you know, talked about Klefki. It's based on, you know, uh, that particular fae, I believe, that was said to possess household objects. Mm-hmm. It's cute. It's titchy. Get used to it. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately I'm gonna have to get to used to it, because it's so good and competitive, apparently. Thanks. I needed that. Look, don't give Ursula superpowers. It already has enough. Do you uh, actually realize what happened there? What happened there, exactly? This uh, Pokemon, whose name escapes me, because I've got so used to calling it Ursula, has the hidden ability Contrary, which turns debuffs into buffs. But uh, on the other hand, on the flip side, if you will, it also turns buffs like Sword Dance into uh, debuffs. So you got to be on your toes if your Pokemon has Contrary. Ooh, that's actually really interesting. And that's Malamar, by the way. I know we've all been calling it Ursula, so I had to think on it for a bit myself. Sit the fuck down. And that's it. We're done with the battle maze on. There's uh, other stuff, like I believe multi-battle, where the uh, Chatelaine sisters will actually team up with one another. But I don't really care. We're, we're done. But fucking why? That's the question. Why the fuck would we do that? And I'm going to have to be honest, guys, I'm not doing the Super Battles, because in the words of a man much more poetic than I, I would do anything for you, but I ain't sitting through 50 fucking battles. Um, I don't think that's how the song goes. You Shut up, that's exactly how it goes. <laughs> well, alright, damn shit, man. Oh, the bip. That little girl in the entrance hall is going to be really disappointed. I uh, promised her a hundred battles in a row. I only managed about twenty or so. Okay, well, to be fair, she brought it up, and your silent protagonist said nothing. Therefore, you did not make a natural promise, and thus you can weasel out of it. I better get, like, free catering for sitting through all that <laughs> stuff. I'm dying over here. We should get catering for commentary sessions that go on for a while. I think that would be a great idea. Oh yeah, just give us fucking Doritos and Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew for you, Doritos for me. You want catering? Go make a fucking sandwich. I ain't here to serve you. Or you could have those little nuts that are... Uh, uh oh, hunger pang. Gotta refill. So, uh, are you looking for any particular items from here to use your bip on? Uh, no, I thought I'd just uh, show it off to all the... Uh lovelies in the audience. I don't know why I, I paused on that. Maybe it was just because it said flame. Yeah, uh, you kind of have a nervous tick like that, don't you? Well, what can I say? I love fire-related things. It's not happening. Fun fact, if you uh, actually manage to beat the uh, super battles of uh, each respective challenge, you get a statue in the lobby, but we ain't doing that. We're done here, so we'll see you next time for more post-game hijinks. See you then.